Senator, Senator tell us North Carolina is recognized. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you all for being here. Ms. Calder, on January the 19th, uh, FHFA announced <clears throat> via press release an intent to rewrite single family pricing framework, which governs the fees and rate pricing structure that the government sponsored entities or GSEs use for the U.S. housing finance system. As it's designed, it looks like these policies would decrease overall cost for riskier individuals with low credit scores, and at the same time, forcibly raise costs and fees for those with better credit scores. Can you speak to the effects that moving away from a risk-based pricing model would have on housing lending? Um, yes, happy to try. Um, I think that this rule, it's, it seems to me that it sets up the wrong incentives um, for folks. Obviously, you know, people save money over time for their down payment, they work hard, they pay their bills on time, and those people under this rule would actually be penalized, um, which seems like uh, not, the, not the right strategy to set up a sure financial um, you know, footing um, for our economy, certainly in, that, in the housing sector. I think something that concerns me um, quite a bit is just that we are starting to be in a deflating market. Um, and as a result of that softening market, I think we really should be very careful right now about pulling marginal buyers into the housing market at the right time. You know, we don't want to set those folks um, that would be stretching um, and maybe wouldn't be qualified otherwise to, um, you know, purchase, take out these loans, take out this mortgage. We don't want to set them up for failure. We don't want to set these folks up for bankruptcy. Um, we don't know if there will be a recession in the near term, short term, um, but it seems like the, the wrong time to be making these types of decisions. And I should say also more broadly, this may be a less popular opinion. I think in the US we have a tendency to sort of romanticize home ownership when the reality is that home ownership isn't right for everybody in every circumstance. Um, and renting can actually be a superior option than uh, as compared to home ownership for many. Um, you know, home prices can be volatile, um, and home ownership really is an obstacle to mobility, and you want people to be able to match with jobs and um, follow, you know, find opportunity and, and services and amenities and be able to move to places in order to obtain those things. Um, uh, just follow in that vein, uh, despite their uh, press release yesterday, FH. FA director Sandra Thompson said that this rule would increase pricing support for purchase borrowers limited by income or by wealth. Inherently, this means Director Thompson's plan is designed to place Americans into homes they would otherwise struggle to afford. Considering the causes of the subprime loan crisis in 2008 during, and, and a recession that followed, is selling people houses they would struggle to afford generally a good idea? I would say no, not a good idea. As the U.S. experiences a housing slowdown, do you believe their actions will further dampen the housing market um, based on the proposed policy? I don't. Hmm. Um, you know, my time remaining, I, I came in on the tail end of uh, Senator Kennedy's comments. I'm going to submit some questions for the record and end on time. But uh, I, I've told this story in banking before. I, I served in the legislature before I came here. I had a meeting with the town uh, in my district. And the meeting was to talk about uh, increasing the supply of affordable housing. It was an hour-long meeting. For the first 45 minutes, we were talking about what we could do to promote uh, affordable housing. Um, and in the last 15 minutes of the meeting, and I agreed with them, we did a lot of work with that when I was in the legislature and actually when I was speaker for four years. Um, the last 15 minutes of the meeting was a request. We have what we call local bills to enable towns to do things that are otherwise not allowed in, in the other uh, towns. Their request for me was to give them the authority to mandate uh, fire suppression systems in all homes being built, $100,000 home. And I told this town council, I said, we've spent three-fourths of this meeting talking about increasing the stock of affordable housing, and you've just made a, a, a proposal that would increase the cost of that affordable home by 10 to 15 percent. 
uh, for the housing price that we're talking about. One of the things we have to do if we're gonna get serious about improving the supply of affordable housing is get serious about right sizing regulations and permitting. And we see with WOTUS, the implementation of WOTUS, it will have an impact on available affordable housing. And if you don't believe me, ask the bipartisan uh, county commissioners about what that's gonna do for the length of the time for the inventory to come online and the supply. So I hope as we talk about solutions that we also talk about the impediments that we're creating and the additive effect we're having and the, re the reduction in affordable housing that we have in this country. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thanks, Senator Till. Senator Tester of Montana is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And uh, thank you for uh, 